getting the money guys it, this is once you've got a good deal the money is easy we're gonna be talking about getting the money getting the money so one of the biggest obstacles that new land investors have and it shouldn't be this way is getting the money but once you have a good deal finding the money is easy but you should still dig your well before you're thirsty what does that mean when you find a good deal you want to make sure you're not scrambling and hyperventilating and freaking out that you don't have the money because there are ways you can get the money from other people how do you get the money a couple ways if you want to just wholesale the deal just like a house you get it under contract you find a buyer you double close you you close on the same day that your end buyer buys it and this is only when you're selling for cash or you can assign the deal now we have a, nas a national title company that we use and when you're buying your deals i always recommend using title companies okay but um the the thing about this is when you when you have another cash buyer you can double close or just assign the deal now i've run into problems before when my assignment fee is too big like the guy is buying it for 20 grand and my assignment fee is 15 grand so sometimes then you got to double close on the deal right but um that means you close it and then you sell it on the same day some title companies will let you use the, the buyer's funds to close your side of the deal, but technically you're supposed to close first on the A to B and turn around and sell it on the B to C. There are um, transactional funding companies that you could use to do that if you had to, um, but most of the time we just assign the deal. Now there's other ways you can get the deal without using any of your own money. You could buy it with owner financing. What do I mean by that? Buy the deal with owner financing. You could tell the seller, all right, I'm going to give you, let's say it's worth 10 grand. And then you make them a cash offer for 2,500. But then you say, I can get you more if you would be willing to carry some of the financing in place, right? So let's just say simple round numbers. Let's say you're going to borrow um, $2,500 at 10% interest from a private investor, okay? $2,500 times 1.1, $250 in interest the first year. Another year, that's about $525 in interest. So over a period of one, two, three, four, five years, you would have borrowed $4,026. If you're paying an investor 10%, your total interest and what you you'd be paying about four you'd be paying about four thousand twenty six dollars for the property. Do you understand? So then, what if you told the seller, "I'll give you twenty five hundred dollars cash, or I'll give you four thousand dollars if you carry back the financing, if you let me make you payments over time." You know, it doesn't have to be four grand. I'm just using simple round numbers, but you make it. Your offer is zero down, zero percent interest, principal only payments. Make sense? So you could do a, let me get back into here and you would do a cash offer at 25% of value or you do an owner financing offer at maybe 40% of value, okay? With zero down and zero interest. Principal only payments. Now we've done this a lot with houses. Why not do it for land? Give them two choices. Cash offer, a little bit more owner financing offer. Now, how do I calculate my payments? I usually do it where my payments are half of what I am collecting from the buyer. So if I'm going to be selling it at 10 grand, I'm going to be getting about, let's just say, um, $200 in payments from my end buyer, $200 a month. So I'm gonna pay the seller $100 a month until paid. So hundred, if I'm buying it for $4,000 and I'm paying the, buy, the seller $100 a month, 4,000 divided by 100, I'm gonna pay it off in 40 months or 3.3 years. Now, if you wanted to, what I really recommend you do is take every dollar that you're getting from your buyer and paying off that seller. So you would be paying them, I'd recommend, $200 a month. Pay extra every month. So $4,000 divided by $200 would be 20 
months. So in less than two years, you could pay off that seller. And also, by the way, your buyer is going to give you a down payment, right? So you're buying it for $4,000 of owner financing. You're going to sell it for $10,000 to a buyer at 9% interest or whatever. They're going to give you probably $1,000 down. So you could put that back to the seller to pay off the seller. So that means you only owe $3,000. Okay, following me? And then if you're paying them $200 a month, divided by 200, you're going to pay them off in 15 months. So in 15 months, guys, you should have a free and clear property. So for the next three and a half, four years, you're getting 100% of that cash flow. You're keeping it. So, you know, whenever all these things I'm talking about here, when you're borrowing private money, when you're using business lines of credit or credit cards or private funding companies, you want to pay off that debt as soon as possible. Um, you know, you can also use, you can sell these deals and just wholesale them. But again, I'd recommend guys, you wholesale every one deal for every three deals that you own or finance. That's how you build long-term wealth with this business. You're going to make much more money by you selling with owner financing and you're going to sell them faster. That's so important. Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying today's video and you want to get into land investing as soon as possible, I've got a free gift for you. If you click right here, I'd like to give you two land flipping documents that my two teenage sons and I have used to generate over $150,000 in profits flipping vacant land part-time on Facebook. You can do this part-time without having to talk to sellers, without using any of your own money. And it's one of the best ways to get started and succeed in real estate investing today. Just click right here if you'd like to get it for free. Otherwise, let's get back to the video. A lot of the students I'm talking with and helping, they're like struggling because it's taking too long to sell the deals. It takes one to three months on average to sell some of these deals, right? Well, you would sell them a lot faster if you offered owner financing. But some people are afraid to, they don't know where they're going to get the money to buy the deal so they can sell them on owner financing. Does that make sense? My, you, all, you all tracking with me here. So if you buy with owner financing, let's say the seller objects, no, I can't do 0% interest. I can't do zero down. Well, okay, we'll offer $500 down, but then lower the price $1,000. If they want interest, you know, go ahead and give them 2% interest. I'll ask them, how much would you earn at the bank? If I gave you this money and you just put it in the bank, how much would you earn at the bank? 1%. What if I doubled that? 2%, would that be fair? All right. So give them 2% and then lower the price a little bit. So it's price or terms when you're negotiating with these sellers. If they want, if, if price is more important to them, give them the price they want on your terms. If terms are more important to them, then give them their terms, but then lower the price a little bit. It's one or the other, price or terms. So start with zero down, 0% 0 interest, principal only payments. Some people would say, well, you have to charge interest because of the tax rules. And if that's the case, I don't know, but um, you can go ahead. But it's it's just built into the, you can build it into the price. All right. I, I know you guys have questions. If you're VIP, we'll answer these kinds of questions after this. Now, private money. This is where I do a lot of my um, borrowing money when I need to. I don't always, but sometimes I do on my deals. It's not the um, it's not that we don't have the money. It's just the speed of capital is really what it's about because sometimes we're buying a lot of deals and it's just easier to borrow private money. So where do you get private money? Simplest place is Facebook groups. If you're one of my students inside of my our student Facebook group, people lend money to each other on deals. I have to disclaim that... Uh, I am not a legal expert in this. You can get in big trouble if you solicit money the wrong way. All right. And I probably, everything I already said probably is illegal, immoral, and fattening. So uh, take what I say with a big, huge grain of salt and go figure it out for yourself. Okay. I don't want to get in trouble if, if I said something stupid because I probably did. All right. Anyway, business lines of credit. One of my favorite companies that I work with all the time is Prime Corporate Services. If you go to jomacall.com slash LLC, these guys can hook you up. They do several things. Number one is they help you create an LLC. Um, and not just one, but for asset protection, they'll help you create multiple LLCs where you can shelter your other LLCs into an LLC in Wyoming or something. So they help you set all of that up. They also help with tax planning and preparation. But the big thing is business lines of credit. 
they will actually hook you up with companies that will help you get business lines of credit. And it basically, it pays for itself. So if you go to joemccall.com slash LLC, that'll schedule, you can schedule a call with my friends at Prime Corporate Services. The other thing here, I want to talk about, this is pretty amazing. I just interviewed a guy on my podcast. Well, okay. I just interviewed him and I, I, I had two videos. This guy's name is Joe Lawrence. I met him a couple of weeks ago and he helps people get business credit cards. Now, I don't want you to go crazy about this. All right. Now, like, listen. I understand like person there's good debt and there's bad debt. You can get into big, big trouble with credit card debt. Y'all agree with that? Okay. I am talking about only using this, only using these credit cards <clears throat> for buying assets that produce cash flow, right? L okay. Let let's, let's type this out. Only use credit card debt to buy short term buy sorry here assets and pay them off within one year i'm going to give you these six or seven companies right now that are practically begging people to apply and and giving away just small little chunks one, two, five thousand dollars business credit cards. Um, and remember, we're buying these lots for just a few thousand bucks. So you could use these cards to um, get just to start establishing business credit. Um, but there are these banks and credit card companies for businesses that are practically giving the stuff away. Now, obviously, you have to have a decent credit score, but it doesn't have to be as good as you might think. And even with a poor credit score. Um, you can still get a thousand, two thousand, maybe five thousand dollars in business credit cards. Now, again, only use this to buy assets that produce cash flow. I should emphasize this: that produce cash flow, and then you pay them off within one year or less. An example, um, and I have these. Let's just look at these right here. Capital on Tap is one of them. CapitalOnTap.com slash US. Okay. So that's one of them. Uh, the other one is PNC. If you just Google PNC small business credit cards, PNC is kind of a regional bank. I think they have a bunch of branches, but they're, again, you're, you're looking for um, just the simplest card you can get. Then another one, Citizens Bank. Google Citizens Bank small business credit cards. Most of these have 0% introductory APR for 12 months. But then after that, you're going to be paying a bunch of interest, 11%, 22%. That's why I'm saying once you start getting into this, you're buying a property, you're taking, then you're selling it with owner financing. You are paying, you get the down payment from the buyer. You take that down payment money, put that on your credit card, and then use 100% of your cash flow coming in to pay off that credit card. So you should be paying these things off within six months. So really, you're not paying that much in interest. You're paying them off very, very quickly. Let me give you one other tip, and I'll share some more of these uh, credit cards with you. Well, let's just finish this. Business, uh, PayPal business credit. Uh, they're, they're, I, I see their ads everywhere. They're just begging people to get uh, give them business credit. Okay. Uh, another one that's really big right now is Marcus. I don't understand this. This is a GM card. Um, you can apply now. These are all business credit cards, right? M&T Bank. M&T business credit cards. Then one more, Chase. Chase business credit cards. Uh, he recommended the Inc., all right. Some of these are different. Um, some of them are for, you know, maybe uh, for some of them might be for starters, starting companies. Some of them might be for more experienced ones. But he likes the ink one. All right. Now, let me show you one other thing here that he recommends. Um, if you go to let's let's just say Iowa SBA loans, most popular. Yeah, here we go. 
So there's a website, sbalenders.com, sbalenders.com. And they will give you, a, they'll rank in your state. It has to be your state, wherever you are. They'll list the top small regional banks that lend the most loans to small businesses. You call these banks, Lincoln Savings Bank, Farmer State, and they have to be, in again, in your state. And you tell them, I am looking for, do you have any no-doc or low-doc loans for small businesses? And ask them that. No-doc or low-doc loans for small businesses. You will be shocked at how easy it is to get either a line of credit or a business credit card from these small banks for 25 to 50 grand if you just ask. Now, again, all of these credit card companies I gave you, this, this list, you know, if whatever you're doing, wherever you're searching for, right? Find the most active small business administration, SBA lenders in what your state, and um, you will find these banks and you just con them. Now, what, what we're talking about here is digging your well before you're thirsty. You got to dig your well before you're thirsty because once you have a deal under contract, the, you don't need to be stressed out about where the money's coming from. So I would recommend applying for one or two or three or maybe all five. Now, what? Okay, let's say you get a business credit card. How are you going to use that money in that credit card to buy property? Well, there's two companies that you can use. Plastique is one. Um, so pay, they do charge a fee, but it's it's how you take money from a credit card without doing a cash advance and pay, you send the money to a title company as a check or something like that. So Plastique is one of them. And another one is Melio. Meliopayments.com. I, I got to emphasize again, guys, be careful with credit cards, all right? You, you only use credit cards or debt to buy assets that produce cash flow and you pay them off in a year or less. I would say pay them off in six months or less. One more resource I'm going to give to you is uh, land funding companies. Now take a screenshot of this and just Google these guys. These are companies that will fund your land deals, but they only will fund bigger deals. So they typically will only fund deals that you are buying for 30 to 150 grand. Deals smaller than that, they typically will not um, lend money on because there's not enough meat on the bones. Freedom Land Capital is one of my favorites and go check them out. They've been doing land for a long, long time and uh, they will partner with you on your next land acquisition deal. Now what they do, it's a little different. When you find a deal, they will actually buy it and joint venture with you on it. And they, these land funding companies, they're awesome for the bigger deals, but they will take 30 to 40 to 30 to 50% of the profits. And they do have pretty strict requirements, right? You have to have many times you have to have at least two different realtors give you pricing. You have to list it on the MLS. So again, the deal has to be bigger so you can afford to pay a commission to a realtor. So it has to be listed on the MLS. And um, so they've got some pretty strict requirements about that. Okay. Another company you can look at is Liberty Capital. And these are all guys who have been doing land investing for a long time. Partner with libertycapital.com. Another one is Parcel Funders. Parcelfunders.com. I've had some students use them. They're very, very picky. You've got to have a good deal. Um, this is their criteria. Got to be in the U.S. It needs to be 5,000 square feet or larger. It has to have legal access. Wetlands is okay. Floodplains is okay. I'm not sure I understand that. Yes or no? Usually they say no to that. Max funding is $1 million. There is no minimum, but really there kind of is. They're, they're not going to fund a deal that you're buying for $2,000 because you're probably going to sell that for ten, which means your gross profit might be eight or nine grand. There's just not enough money in them for, be, for them to be interested in that. So when you're targeting the bigger lots, you have to be at 50% or less of market value, which is exactly what we're doing anyway. We're, we're not ever offering more than 50%. Okay. So those guys are good at what they do. Parcel Land investing pros. Fund my land deal. And Plum Investment Group. These guys are pretty cool. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. If you like my channel at all, please hit the subscribe button. Get the notification bell thing clicked so you can get notified when new videos come out. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below, all right? Thank you.